Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at converting or translating a value driver tree into an Excel spreadsheet model. Now, what on earth is a value driver tree? Well, I've got a separate worksheet here. Uh, what I've actually done is to create this value driver tree originally in PowerPoint. Is my PowerPoint there, text boxes, um, connectors of one kind or another, for example, and then copy or pasted. Um, I think it can be really quite useful to copy paste that um, value driver tree that you've created somewhere else into an Excel worksheet um, as a reference to use. So let's have a look at this in a little bit of detail. What I'm looking to achieve, what I'm looking to calculate is are my monthly savings. I need, of course, to get information about, well, what are the monthly savings based upon? Well, my income and my expenditure. What's my income based upon? What's my expenditure based upon? That's what this whole kind of driver tree idea is all about. What you can see what I'm doing here is I'm kind of branching out from left to right. On the left-hand side, what I'm looking to achieve ultimately all the various calculations and variables kind of branching out from that left hand side so branching out from left to right um, I've also got a little bit of color coding going here which makes it very very graphical very clear very visual indeed the the teal boxes salary investments and so on these are things that will uh, ultimately become numbers or values or variables in my finished model these are the things effectively that cannot be broken down any further. There's no kind of further calculations for my salary investments, for example. The orange boxes are calculations. These are what will, again, ultimately become formulas in the Excel spreadsheet um, itself. So that important distinction between those two things, and I've created this finished model based upon it. So I'm translating this into this. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is to recreate it with all that in mind. I'm just going to make a copy, and this is the model to complete. Just going to get rid of some of the formatting that I got in there, and also the original numbers. Let me just boldface, control B, these captions. So thinking about, first of all, the leaves on the tree, my teal boxes, salary and investments. Let me go back to my, where are we, salary, some arbitrary values, let's say for example, investments, another arbitrary value for example in there. Going back, having a quick look, what else? Mortgage and rent, mortgage or rent, so let's say my mortgage or rent is 950. My utilities, well, utilities are based upon my gas, my electricity, and my water bill. Optional items are clothing and entertainment. Those are the eight variables from the value driver tree. Salary investments, mortgage rent, all of my bills, gas, electricity and water and my two optional expenses. Those teal boxes have become those hard-coded values or variables. What I can then start getting into is are my formulas or calculations, the orange boxes here on the value driver tree. Let's work from kind of right to left. Utilities. So where are we? My utilities are going to be a sum of gas, electricity and water, for example. Let's go back. Required and optional. Okay, so my required expenses are going to be equal to the mortgage or rent that I pay in addition to utilities bills. For example, my optional is going to be a sum of my two optional expenses in this case of this example, clothing and entertainment. My expenditure, my expenditure is going to be equal to my required expenses, add to that my optional expenses and there's my total expenditure and my income is going to be a sum of these two. Oh, of course they can be individual cell references added together and then finally what I can do is to calculate my total savings by taking my income and subtracting it, taking away my expenditure and based upon that data there is 
my total savings. So that's the finished model. What I would also do, guys, if you have a look back to here, uh, think about getting some kind of indenting going for your various captions or labels, um, just to make a clear distinction between uh, what is what, just to kind of tidy things up a little bit further. I got some borders kind of going on here as well, for example. But all those kind of aesthetics, really entirely up to you guys. What I've done is I have taken this value driver tree translated it into a completed Excel spreadsheet model. That's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Do look out for my various other um, Excel videos here on YouTube, but take care and bye-bye.